Kenzo. So today I just want to show you how to trade Nasdaq. So it's very easy, guys. So let's just go through it. So uh, it's very easy, but as long as you know how to draw the trends line, you don't need any indicator. But if you need some indicators, uh, I also have a Telegram page that uh, you can check uh, on the details here. You will I'll also send the, the, the link at the end of the video so that you can download uh, some robots or indicators if you prefer those but here i'm uh, I'm, I'm just gonna show you how to to use a trend line uh, to trade nasdaq so we can see here or let's just go firstly firstly before you do anything né? go on a four hour uh, time frame here you should draw your trend line so as you can see here uh, it's an uptrend actually nasdaq is going up and it's been doing so since so actually it's a bull market so actually we don't really sell that much on nasdaq so stuff like this so you can see here uh, since when it touches here nasdaq it bounces back here it bounces back uh, we don't count this one here it bounced back here it bounced back even here I also think even here it might bounce again or if maybe it breaks it can but just know or uh, Nasdaq it's a bull market so most of the time it's always going up so don't confuse this thing it's very easy guys so while you are on a four hour time frame you already drawn your your trend line né? so since you saw re, from this point nasdaq was just bouncing back when it touches here so already you have a clue what's gonna happen so let's see on a smaller time frame so that you don't enter here with a four hour time frame obviously you're gonna shift uh, go to a smaller time frame one hour sorry mm. let's go on an hour time frame you can see here uh, our our trend line is perfect here so since the market is not open yet so i think nasdaq it will just go up and down here when the market opens i hope it will shoot it may shoot going up or maybe 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 it might break our trend line or maybe there might be a fake breakout but at the moment I'm thinking it's gonna bounce back even yesterday it was here so we bought here but you can see uh, uh, it just pushed back again so today I'm still hoping that uh, it will go up so when you are on your one hour time frame yeah? one hour time frame is when you want to confirm uh, your whether I, where you, you, you're going to buy actually so you can see okay our trend line is very close sometimes when you draw a time uh, your, your your trend line on a four hour time frame you might find there is a bigger distance uh, where the market is but here we can see it's very 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 close so we're gonna go back again and use 15 minutes time frame uh, to place our order or to to use pending orders so let's go to 15 minutes so you can see here if you are an aggressive trader actually you can take your buy from here you can take your buy from here because you have a 
a, a proof that when it comes here it just bounces back but i'm not saying you should just take a buy without checking the other things so firstly on the 15 minutes we check the candles so i just want to show you the candles but those candles they happen uh, when the market open you can't see them now so let me show you those candles mm, let me clear this uh sorry every time when let me go back every time when nasdaq bounces it will create a 15 minutes a green candle a bullish candle something like this when the market open you will see something like this candle like this when the market open you will see something like this then if it doesn't happen just wait for it to happen uh, wait for it to to create a, a bullish candlestick on a 15 minutes time frame then what you do then you can buy but if maybe uh, you are not an aggressive trader you can just place your uh, place your you can just place your pending order then when it shoots up it will find your orders ready so what i'm talking i want i just want to show you what i'm trying to talk about here i don't know if you can see this something like this sorry something like this this is the candle that i'm talking about if you don't see a candle that closes like this then just wait because when it goes down it will just go down for a longer time and if you already placed your order then you are in trouble so when it bounces back it will create something like this i know here it's not on on a trend line but it will create something like this then you know you're gonna buy from here you see so it's very 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 easy so i just want to let me just zoom out and show you these candles on a real trend line let me just go back on an hour so that i can see them uh, yeah even here even here we had the same thing because we had this trend line before we even created this one because i got when the market goes when the market continues to go then trend line will change but here even here there was a similar thing you can see here it was a market open then it just shot up then you will buy here then few pips then you're out even here you can see here it was going up then here the candle that i'm talking about is here then you bought you can buy from here this thing doesn't want to draw a very clear line here you buy then you can hold if you yeah you can hold up to somewhere maybe here i think or from here to here maybe some few thousands you will make some few thousand obviously because this is nice there guys so if you open some if you see candle like this then you know it's a buy then your stop loss should be somewhere here under that green candle you can put it there i got your bot here you can put your stop loss here then you know you can hold if you want to hold you can hold from here so let's go for another one okay even here you can see what i'm trying to say but sometimes it won't always be the case that it will just bounce back and just go up sometimes it retest it come back again then it push again you can see even here let me just draw a small trend line from here you'll see what i was trying to talk about you see then from even if maybe we don't count from this one well, after it closes we buy but this one came back again but this one 
it was also a nice buy when you see the green candle guys when it closes on a green candle obviously even if you go on a 15 minute chart you want to see the same thing so you buy let's see from here you it went down because you can't just place a buy before you see it bouncing back so you wait for that moment then when it happens like here you wait for this one first when it closes then you buy from here then you man this thing is very very easy it's not that very very easy if you don't understand but if maybe you've been in in this industry for for some time now obviously maybe you've seen what's going on so even on the sell side it's just that i don't really sell nasdaq because uh, the overall uh, picture here or the overall movement uh, it's going up so but if you want to sell if you want to sell like somewhere here you can see let's zoom here i just want to show you the same candlesticks that you should sell uh where's that thing now? uh let me go to that thing uh okay it's here so let's check here so if you want to sell this ne, you can also zoom so you will wait for a candle that closes or on a bearish candle something like this when the market opens you will see something like this then you will take when it closes like this then you know you take this one then it was gonna go down like that uh, even here but remember the move won't be the same some they will just go down straight some they will just go like this and come back but even here you can see we have a a, a bearish candle then you just sell but this thing happens on on a or on our on our trends line guys actually it's a support and resistance on the trends line so you can see even here you can see here you sold but even if it didn't go down but here you can see again stuff like it happen again here it went down so the move won't be the same but our method is the same because it just repeat itself so let's go again somewhere uh, but even if the overall it's a buy guys you can see on the sell side so but my advice is don't sell nasdaq if you don't understand what's going on the best way is to buy this thing because it's gonna go up it, it if it finds you on a sell position cho, 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 you're gonna blow the account so the best way is to uh, know when to buy know your trend line trend line is not like it's always perfect sometimes it will break uh, the trend line sometimes it will respect it but i hope maybe uh, before i mean just because now the market is not open when it's open i think maybe maybe it will respect this point then maybe it will shoot up that's what i'm hoping but if you don't know what to do here just wait for those candles to happen or if maybe you are still not sure about the candles you can just place your your buy stops here the painting buy stop here the painting order here then when it, it tries to go up then it will find your order that you can maybe put 20 i think 15 or yeah 150 pips away i think yeah then from there you you're good you're good then uh guys if you want a video less videos like this then you can just like my videos there i will still send some videos about um uh, deeper analysis on on and on nasdaq and us 30 and also german 30. Good job guys